Anyway, I'm noticing like the, the pre-roll is off. It's saying it's going to be off for a very long amount of time. Nah. Streaming is hard work. I hope you have a fantastic eat and a great rest of your week, Faith State. I appreciate ya stopping on by. It's one of the fun things, is meeting tons of cool people. And not a pain deer. Oh. Oh, my homies hate the pain deer. Okay, we'll hit the snow bats. We will piss beaver lead to buff flare. Oh, Miss Snow. Wait, hold on, did it not fire? There's no fucking shot that that's broken. Alright. It did fire? But I didn't hear it. Interesting. Ah, I took off my AoE heal. Hmm. I did not think that through. But at least we can open with a multi story. I always love hearing the POWER SNAKE! I think I would love if I could get that song, but as a, uh, a tropical trance, like, cover of it. Maybe just the, maybe, maybe without the lyrics, but just have like that song and then I could use that as, as like a, for, for like a just chatting screen for background music or as a, some, some kind of thing. I fucking, <laughs> fucking love that song. <laughs> Power Snake? It's called Power Snake. Um, their whole, uh, I think, I think the album is Emblas. Endless Saga is pretty... it's got a lot of pretty good bangers in it, I'm not gonna lie. As far as who's it by... I cannot remember off the top of my head. So if you give me a second, I can pull it up. But I do... I feel like I might need to refresh on the... FINISH IT! Alright, I, I really thought that would kill it. Hold on. Let's try again. Ow. There we go. Uh, a little bit more? Alright. Dragon berries. And, oh wait. Oh, oh. It's by Brothers of Metal. That's what it is. It is. It is basically my theme song. <laughs> I'm gonna say canonically, it is my theme song. <laughs> um, the other thing I needed to do was refresh this audio. Where's my alerts? And then where is OBS Active Sources? Ba -da -dum, ba -dum. That's so weird because my fix button fixed everything but that. Alright. Should be good now if anything more happens. What about you? Huh? You asked about me earlier, but how are you holding up? Oh, terrible. Well, what else is new? Well, thanks for caring about my well-being at least. You don't have to patronize me. I know this mess. I got us all into blows. You have every right to be mad at me. No, I mean, I meant it. Oh, well, thank you, I guess.
Hmm. Let me keep an eye on whenever the next ad of that happens, because if this is a repeatable bug, I will be very happy. I just need to adjust times again. Because it's, as far as I'm aware, it seems like it played... The, it played the normal amount of ad time, but I have double the length of uh, pre-roll not have to worry about, which would be an interesting bug. Oh, there's a note from Zina in here. You're doing great. Here's a little something to keep you going. Z, how thoughtful of her. What do you think of Zina? Huh? Oh, she's great. I guess I've just been a little too stuck in my own head to show that I appreciate her help. I can't believe she's so, so, so willing to help us after the bomb we dropped on her. I'd probably be a total wreck in her shoes. Everyone copes with hardship in different ways. I guess Zinna tries to redirect her energy towards helping people. Damn, look at that enemy! And him. I think I can already smell the next dragonberry bush nearby. Really? From this distance? It's a pretty strong smell. You can't smell anything? Nope. Huh. Guess that's the perk of being a fox. You're just full of surprises, huh, Metal Leaf? I'm kind of hoping it's a special enemy, like someone who's on ice skates. No, 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 I want to fight him. There we go. Cryptic. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, we we found the abominable snowman. Get him! Let's make him damp. Let's burn him. I don't know if he's bored because he's moving so he's moving so fast, or if because he it's 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 the bottle snowman, so obviously he's blurry. <laughs> um, let's hit him with another bubble, um, and scorch. It's a Fresno Nightcrawler. <laughs> Man, he's a bit of a pushover though. We just put a little uh, burn, burn, burn. <laughs> Cast magic missile. I'm kind of sad she doesn't have a star power only damage spell because I would like to preserve MP. Well, now we gotta see what's up here, at least. Um... Or is this the way we're supposed to go? Because I know there was that other path. Frost Rod. Wait, was that a good thing or a bad thing? Did I fuck myself? Oh, this is to the very beginning. Alright, so this is our way out. Oh no, I can just go up down here. Okay. I'm a potato. I was going the right way anyway. We had to, to go out that direction. Got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Um, what about the ice rod, though? Frostvard. Replace the user's attack with a slightly weaker frost. Eh, I'm not really auto attacking with flare. We're kind of, kind of burning shit over here, as it were. Can we dodge the enemy? Huh. Huh. Yeah. 
Let me get those dragon berries. Dragon berries, dragon berries. I don't, I don't remember anything else but the Dragon Tales intro. I should try to enjoy this little trip while I can, I guess. I've always liked the snow, you know? There's something calming about it. Yeah, I get what you mean. It's nice. Allison and I used to have a lot of fun every winter when we were little. We'd go sledding a lot, and she'd throw snowballs at our bullies. Maybe weather like this just evokes those memories for me. Maybe. I'm kind of having fun on the ice, personally. Wish we brought skates. We can skate? We skated a lot as a kid. Lots of good places to skate in Brightport in the winter. And gave me a reason to get out of the house. I was always too scared and clumsy to learn how to skate back then. We don't seem scared of the ice now. I guess not, huh? Well, one more batch of berries should be enough. Let's look for that and then head back. I will second ice skating. Love ice skating. Oh, that's the last one. Here, I'll go grab that. Oh, sure. Oh, crap. Claire? What happened? Are you okay? There was a root or something buried under the snow, and I tripped. I think I twisted my ankle real bad. It might be sprained. God, what a stupid accident. We make it through all of the battles with monsters, and this is what gets me. Figures. It's okay. I should be able to heal this. You sure? It'll take a little while since it isn't just a surface level injury. But yeah, this is the kind of thing I studied for. Okay. Thanks, Melody. God. Your mood was starting to improve, and I just had to go and ruin it, like always. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry for all this. For what? Everything. You and Allison and Jody and Faith were all risking your lives to help fix my mistakes. I'm hardly even grateful. I rushed you and Allison into this guild crap because I thought it would be a good experience. And it look where we are now. This guild even managed to drive a wedge between you and Allison. If we even make it out of this, then I don't blame you if you want to quit. It can be hard for me to talk to you sometimes, just because, I mean, it can be hard for me to talk to most people. You can be intense, and sometimes you leap before you look. But you've also done so much for me. You gave me my magic, and I don't think you would have bothered it if you didn't care. You really are one of my best friends, Claire. Uh, you're so nice, like, all the time. I summon some sort of witch apocalypse, you're still not mad at me. This would be easier if you were all mad at me, you know. Just get it over with. You all still have this misguided trust in me when I deserve to get chewed out. I don't know how I tricked you into believing in me. It's just gonna make it sting harder when I fail. Do you... do you want me to be mad at you? No, no. Forget it. I mean, I don't know if I'm as nice as you think I am, deep down. But I'm not pleased about the situation we're in. That doesn't mean we aren't friends. Have I ever told you much about my life back at home? A little, but not much. Why? I... didn't really have many friends growing up in Brightport. And my family always treated me like garbage. Jody was all I had. But then Jody graduated and moved away. And finishing high school as a closeted trans girl with no friends was, uh, terrible. Then I didn't have, and I, then I didn't have the grades or money to go to a good sorcerer's college. After high school I just suffocated. I had to do something fast to keep my life from going completely off the rails. Sometimes I feel like my life's barely just begun. Like, everyone's got an 18 year head start, and it's already too late for me to catch up. As soon as I could, I got away from my family and moved in with Jody. She was the only person who made me feel safe. I figured I'd just room with her, get a crappy job in Greenridge to help pay the bills, and start studying magic on my own. I didn't know if any part of that plan would work out. But you... Allison and Beaverly, 
and everyone else here have done nothing but try to make me feel welcome here, even when I've been a careless jerk. Which is often, let's be real. Even Faith. She cuts me so much slack. I thought I had the perfect opportunity to make something of myself here. And I didn't want to waste it. Excuse me. That's why I rushed everyone into this whole guild thing. And why I pushed myself so hard with magic. It just really bit me in the ass this time. Plus, I know we don't talk about it much, but you're the only other trans girl I've ever really been friends with in real life. You've always been really supportive, and I don't know if I've made it clear how much that means to me. We've got to look out for each other. If we don't, then who will? Hey. Sorry it took the apocalypse for me to say I care about you, Melody. Likewise. If we make it through this, we should hang out more. You know, under less dire circumstances. Also, your leg probably finished healing about a minute ago now. Oh. Yeah, it does feel better. Thank you. You know, this might sound absurd, but I think this little outing has given me an idea. What kind of idea? Come on, I'll tell you on the way back to Zinna's place. Alright, now we can control the other half. Alright, now it's Punchy McFighty Group. And I just realized they don't have any healing. One second. <coughs> oh, I didn't mute it. Well, you get to hear me sneeze. Sorry about that. Um. I guess I can give her Magical Girl. That will give me some healing. Or. Maybe Alchemist? What are the Alchemist skills? Uh, Potion Plus. I think... Spare Potion Alpha. Um, I think we'll just leave it with this as Potion Plus. Hmm, nah. Now yeah, we'll give her something combat. We can just use potions. Actually, I kind of like Spellblade. Then I can give Counterattack Stance and Taunt. All right, let's let's do a test battle with a Pain Gear. All right, so then we first use Taunt. Over here, dummy. And then we use... Alright, oh, she needs to actually get attacked. Right. Let's just do one round of punching. Alright, now she gets star power. And go for a low kick. Sweep the legs. Counterattack stance. Alright, low kick is not the one, so let's go for a right jab. Alright, and this should kill it. Alright, this is going to mulch my fucking potion stockpile. Well, that's fine. That's why we have potions. To use them. Hey! Do you think we should taste test these to make sure they're right? They look pretty ripe to me. Oh, so you're an expert on magical fruits now, huh? I mean, I definitely know more about food than you. We both know I'm a better cook. Okay, I just want to see what they taste like. Never had dragonberries before. They're rare. We literally just had a dragonberry tea with Zinna. Yeah, but the raw berries are a whole different experience. It's all about the mouthfeel. Fine, just one can't hurt, I guess. Mm, nom, 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 nom. It tastes like the tea we just had. You don't say. <laughs> I need to figure out a way to differentiate those their two voices. <clears throat> I 
it's hard for me. I don't, I don't exactly have a big email voice repertoire. Head off to eat. Aw, oh, thank you, Miss Nil. I hope you have a fantastic eat and a great rest of your week. Damn, shelling out with the whole gnome base, not even just a single gnome. Sheesh. I'm gonna rush him down. Ah. Alright, All right. yeah, no enough left over for at least a gnome. I gotcha. Ooh, gave it burn. Nice, you'll love to see it. Uh, counterattack stance. Bye bye. Dodge. Well, shit. Um, let's use a potion on Allison. Cross counter. That snowman doesn't know what hit him. Mostly because he was a bat. Can it fly? Or is it just like, th just the head part flies, maybe? Bushytail, Bandit, and Snow Batman. Well... Fuuuuck. I don't really have an... Well... Lightning Kicks is my only AoE attack. Okay, let's go for attack, and we'll have her taunt. And then we'll have her put on counterattack stance. Um, Alright, let's save up for that three star power big hit from Allison and see if we can one shot something. Holy fuck! Uh, okay, Allison needs some heals. So let's hit the snow bats. Let's use a potion on... Actually, I think this is worth a mega potion. 750 should be good. Oof. Now Jody needs some healing. Hell yeah! Nothing like a little counter-attack! Screen damage to one enemy. Good stuff, good stuff. And then let's do crack the armor on the other one. Oh, that actually deals damage. Noted. Damn, that's hella. That's a lot of damage. All right, I think they can finish off this squirrel, and then I'll just use potions outside of battle. Actually, if Allison is kind of like a kind of punk sort of person, then maybe I can be more of like a dude bro. Mm -hmm. Like a surfer dude. Hey, Durangar, welcome on by. Jeez, you think Zinna has to go through all these every time she wants to put some dragon. She wants some dragon berries? I mean. Probably flies over all this, right? She has wings. Oh yeah, probably. I wanted to ask if she can really fly, but I guess I figured that might be rude. I hope your Monday's going pretty well, Durangar. And I hope you had a great weekend full of shenaniganery. And or good sleep. I don't know. Usually the weekend is really good for sleep. Wintry Witch? Ooh. Ooh, that's a sassy looking cat witch right there. Today's actually your Friday? That would be so fucking surreal to me. Because normally Monday, I'm too used to Mondays being like the shit day. But if it's your Friday, that's supposed to be good. 
trying to think. I know even when I work... I'm trying to remember, when I worked Panama's, I don't think... I don't think it lined up like that. Then again, with Panama work schedules, a lot of things are really, really fucked. Um, well, we gotta get rid of the wizard. You always gotta drop the wizard first. Pain deer attacks. Oh no, it drained my MP from my tank. Whatever will I do? Alright, um, so she's in counterattack stance. And now... Let's give Allison a Flame Blade. And we'll go back to punching. We need to get two pips to get the... Crack the armor. So Allison should kill that. We will crack the Pain Gear. And we just dogpile. I... that's unnecessary damage. I meant to use Blast Beat last turn. One advantage, at least, of having a uh, shifted schedule like that is it certainly makes um, getting certain errands done much easier. You know, places that are open 9 to 5 are much more amenable when you can go into them, you know, during the normal day. That's like one of the most frustrating things. It's like, oh, it's open during banking hours. It's like, dude, I can't... I work during those hours. How the fuck am I supposed to get in to use their services? Sometimes shit be baffling. Okay, so I got that one. So now... I go... Down? I believe I came from the left. No, I came from the bottom. Now we need to get to the top. Um... Am I just... dumb? Yes. Yes, I am just dumb. <laughs> Easy squeezy. As a serpent, I know all about squeezing. Because snakes give the best hugs. Oh great, now we have... Switches. Alright, let me go back. Go forward. Go up. We go down. We go up. We go down. And we turn ourselves around. That's what it's all about. Hmm. Okay, we need to hit this switch. We hit this switch. No. Oh, yeah, it's literally just that simple. <laughs> Man, those monster attacks sure do sting when Melody's not around to heal them. You're telling me. Hey, speaking of Melody, did something happen with you two? Don't worry about it. Easier said than done. You two went from hopeless puppy love to not even speak to, speaking to each other overnight. Yeah, okay, we had a fight. Barely even a fight. We raised our voices. I said some stupid crap at a moment of weakness. It just made Melody feel bad. When I realized what I'd done, it was too late. What kind of stupid crap? Like I was thinking about quitting, and I didn't think we should be the ones to face Verena. I mean, we can't face Verena. I know, I know. That's not the point. I was just worried that I pushed her too hard. Joining this guild, getting magic, quitting my job. I've been stupid. I hate seeing her like this. She's had multiple breakdowns this week, and I feel like I pushed her there by roping her into all this. The way she talks about herself sometimes, 
wanting to make herself useful, not wanting to seem weak, that kind of thing. I don't want her to think like she has to go this far in order to help for me to love her. I already love her. We all do. But whenever I try to let her know that we can ease up, it just makes things worse. Now she won't even talk to me. I think she hates me. I'm sure she doesn't hate you. Yeah, well, she does. I probably deserve it. Well, it probably won't help if we keep them waiting. Let's get the rest of those berries. Here I go. Slide in again. Gonna get those berries. Can't deny it. They're delicious. I just want to eat one. This looks like a trap. You sure you're not cold? A real knight has to be ready to deal with extreme conditions like this. Oh, please. Who do you think you are? Province? You're gonna freeze your butt off. And Faith's not gonna be happy if we bring back an assless Jody. Yeah, well, she's already not happy. Huh? I thought you and Faith were still okay. Forget it. I don't need your ribbing right now. No, come on. You know I can turn off the sass. What's up? I'm fine. My problems are mine to deal with. Right now I need to be a rock for the team. Well, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Alright, we've got E. Silver plate armor. Hmm. You're dying. Oh no. What's slaying you? And the, uh, the snow and, like, the very light music really gives you the itch to open up Celeste. <laughs> Laughs at a joke, inhaled water. See, you know, I know it's tempting to try and breathe water now and then, um, but you, you just can't do that. You don't have gills, Pokemon. You, you gotta leave the water breathing to the fish. This looks like a really strange sliding puzzle. I wasn't wrong. It was a strange sliding puzzle. But hey, we're all the way through. It becomes Bandit Crate. Yeah, yeah. That also could work. All right, we got another snowman fight. Oh, hold on. There we go. Oh, it's a flamely on ice. What? I feel like fire is not where I would expect to find ice. I guess we just give it a stabbing. Uh, taunt. Over here, dummy. Oh shit, they cast fire. Sewer slide missing pillars? That's going over my head. Um, let's give them. Let's. Let's give them a quick. Let's give them a kick. A flip of the twist. Try and take out the ice, but they're dying in the process. Um, I'm not sure if counterattack. Hold on. Oh come on! How did that flameling not die? Oh, uh, fuck! All right, Jody, I'm gonna need you to use a mega potion. Oh. Uh, all right. Um, we'll go for another low kick. Jody, use a cushion on Allison. All right, and then we just do a full full court press and finish it off. Cool beans. Now we're no longer burning to death. 
I really hope I don't run out of potions, because otherwise it's going to get awkward. Just using those safe files just to make sure I don't brick myself. Now, there's one thing I read is that uh, yawning. Um, one of the things that people think yawning may be um, triggered by is like, like the late, like the vestigial sort of um, process of breathing through gills is somehow wired. You know, so like how you would, you know, when in when 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 baby form. Uh, at one point, you have gills, and they go away. You know, we used to have gills way, way, way back when. And so it's just sort of a vestigial process. And so maybe some of the, uh, like, the brain neurons that would handle the automatic breathing through gills is somehow wired to our normal breathing. And that's where we get yawning. A vending machine all the way up here? I stopped questioning stuff like this two dungeons ago. It's probably magic or something. Oh, I can just buy more potions. Alright, I'm good. Um, let's buy some ethers while I'm at it. Oh, water cures... Heals 500 HP and cures status. Actually, ice cold water is a fucking steal. Fuck potions. Can I sell? I want to sell to the vending machine. Damn it. Um. Boop. All right, that was not the way to go. I think. Um, what will this do? It's gonna turn me around. I meant to do exactly that. I completely planned it out. I knew that's exactly how I would move. <laughs> Allison, what does being part of the guild mean to you? Huh? Like, for me, I became a knight because I wanted to protect people. To keep people I love from getting hurt. I thought that joining the Paladin Brigade would have caused problems, since Faith would be my boss. Instead, I started this guild with Claire. And obviously, it wasn't that simple. Maybe hearing your thoughts on all this will help put things in perspective for me. What motivates you? I don't know, uh... Do something with Melody, I wanted to be like my mom. It sounded fun, I got nothing. Uh, I feel like Allison is very much a... Uh, it just seemed, it just seemed cool. Uh, I just thought this would be fun. Body monsters, going on adventures, hunting for treasure. It was childish of me to look at it like that, though. There's nothing childish about wanting to spend your life doing what you love. There is when you jump headfirst into a job you're not ready for, like I did. But I mean, if you want a more adult answer, I'm also kind of in it for the money. I didn't want to be stuck in poverty with a dead-end, minimum-wage, woodcutting job my whole life. I want more than that. Turns out, adventuring is expensive, though. We have to spend so much of what we make on equipment just to keep up. You're telling me. But that's not the satisfying answer to your question. It's not a cool creed to live by. You just have bills to pay. It's a grounded answer, though. Eh. Either way, if we somehow make it to next week, then I guess I've still got a lot to figure out about myself. Don't. We always. <laughs> All right, area three. What do we got now? Oh, that was a simple. I feel like something's gonna happen here. There we go. That should be enough. Great. Let's head back. Is that a shiver just now? Okay, fine. Maybe I'm cold. Come on. Let's make a fire to warm you up before we take a trek back to Zinnas. Hey, Jody. From your point of view, why did you and I break up? Whoa. Where's this coming from all of a sudden? I've just been thinking about it a lot today. We broke up. And, like, 
No hard feelings there, obviously. But now Melody's mad at me too. Just wondering, like, is history repeating itself? Am I making the same mistakes all over again? Am I just a idiot who's m miserable to date? Well, we were just teens being teens. We thought we knew everything, even though we were barely out of high school. We were scared of being alone forever. I figured that, hey, we get along great as internet friends, we're both lesbians, we seemed compatible. If we're in the same town now, why not give it a shot? And then, after a couple months of ups and downs, we realized that we knew how to push each other's buttons in all the wrong ways. We weren't giving each other what we needed in a relationship, and so we went back to being friends. I don't know. I don't hold anything against you, it just wasn't right for us. But I wouldn't say what happened between us is comparable to you and Melody. How do you figure? Well, when we started dating, we didn't really know each other all that well. But you and Melody knew each other better than anyone. And you were both totally in love for years before you even realized it. Tell me, what does Melody mean to you? She means the world to me. She's always been there for me. And I've tried my hardest to be there for her. Rather, I feel safe. Like I don't have to impress her. I can just be me. And she understands me. So I hope the feeling is mutual. What you two have is really special. That isn't going to disappear just because of an argument or two. I mean, look at me and Faith. We still have our disagreements. Really? I've never seen you two fight. <laughs> oh, totally. We love each other, of course, but our lives aren't always completely compatible. I didn't become a knight for Faith, but I kind of figured I would be working for her with her more. It didn't work out like that. She's got her responsibilities, I've got mine. We can't always find the time for each other. Sometimes that really stings. And sometimes Faith has a lot on her plate, and I want to be there to help. That's just not what she needs. So we've learned to compromise, and to be clear about what our needs. To know when we need to be there for each other, and when we need our space. Of course, I don't think my actions this week are really helping things. Oh, come on. You've done nothing but save our butts left and right. Yeah, and I will also let everyone into a trap because I ran off to play hero in the desert. Which left Green Red wide open. And really, everything that's happened is kind of my fault. I was supposed to keep Claire from getting into trouble, and I've clearly failed to do that. There's no shortage of stupid things I've done lately that has just caused my girlfriend needless stress. I know she's frustrated, even if she's good at hiding it. I thought I could be there for Faith and help Claire get the guilt going and support you and Melody and make everyone all happy at once. Turns out, that's not as easy as I thought it would be. I feel like I've gotten a little off track here. That's fine. It's not like Melody and I are the only ones having a rough week. My point is, relationships take work. That's just normal. I'll have to find a way to make it up to Faith and do better in the future. Because we love each other. It's the same way with you two. This week has been a lot for all of us. I know it's hard, but if Melody wants some space right now, then maybe that's just what she needs. You've got to give her some time, and be there for her when she's ready. Thank you, Jody. That helps a lot. Come on, let's head back to... Oh, what now? Sounded like that came from the our north. Let's investigate. Oh, is the party all going to meet up for a climactic boss battle? Thank you for the save. Oh, it's going to be a, a giant fire link. Oh, it's Paula. Paula? There you are. Whoa, what's going on with your eyes? You okay? I'm better than okay. I'm ready for round two. Come on, enough of this. We already beat you once. Keep telling yourselves that. My job was just to buy time for Verena's summoning, and I did exactly that. The only reason Verena lets you go is because she wants to test you. And now I'm here for your pop quiz. Seriously, what's your problem, Paula? Why the hell are you so obsessed with me all of a sudden? You wanna know why? You really wanna know? It's because you're a cheater. I know the truth about you and Amaranth. You two cheated your way to become adventurers by stealing Verena's magic. I've known this whole time. Paula, people like you sicken me. You're no heroes. You're scum. 
You just think you can use magic to get whatever you want. Well, guess what? Two can play at that game. I've proved my worth in the assault on Grid Ridge. Now Verena's granted me more power. And unlike you, I was chosen directly by the goddess of magic herself to inherit this power. Hold up. Do you have any idea how dangerous that is? Dangerous for you, maybe. No, seriously, cut the crap. You need to get medical help right now, or else you might... You can't run from this, Goleta. If you can't face me like this, then you don't stand a chance against Verena. Now give me everything you got. Alright, now we got Paula with some hella sick green highlights. Alright. Um, always steal from the boss, even though I know I'm going to regret this. Um, we will go with... Taunt. Ooh, a revival tier. I may need that. Nice dodge! Um, I'm trying to remember... I think it was a left jab? I think it was a left jab that she was weak to. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna save up for the for the big hits. So let's do that. Let's get we haven't been attacked yet, so we'll just get space. Two stats. Hopefully. Okay. Good. Now we can enter our counterattack stance. We need to get all that, and then we can give an elemental blade to Allison, and we can see if that does damage as well. Um, let's try lightning blade. Oof. All right. So Allison, you need to heal. Go for a blast beat. Jody can use. Um. Actually, a mega potion. We'll get her all the way to full. Ah, oh, fuck! I forgot to use armor breaker before using that. Okay. Um. Let's go for an attack, and we will use crack and arm for three turns. No, we'll use. We'll reuse taunt. And then I use Kraken Armor, and that should allow Allison to use her uh, Blast Beat on the last turn that Kraken Armor is effective. Uh, but first, I need to heal. I did not think about this. Fuck! Um, let's give Jody some heals, and then she can... Crack the armor. More damage, the more star power she has. Uh. Dodge. Okay. Go for another attack. Go for counterattack stance. That way we can do a little bit of chip damage if we're lucky. Fuck. Alright. Uh, we got Blast Beat. Um, I want to wait until I'm a little bit lower health so that the water will heal more. He heals 500. 828? Eight eight? Hell yeah. One health? What the fuck? That is so much bullshit. Ice cold water. There we go. Bring Jody all the way back up. Um, let's see what Righteous Blow does. Let's see how much damage that does. 447. Alright, not bad. Oh! <laughs> Is that all you've. Paula? I knew that that much magic would be too much for her to handle. Come on, we just can't leave her to freeze to death. Let's drag her back to Zenna's. Interesting. I wonder what Paula's issue is, because I feel like just being a generic bully, um, 
Like, this game has given the characters a lot of depth. So I don't think... I think there's going to be a reason behind... I feel like there's going to be a backstory to why the bully. I don't know if it's going to be like... Um, uh, actually, I'll probably talk for a while, so let me go through this. Paula? Whoa, what happened here? Is she... She's suffering from mana poisoning. It's a common side effect of being infused with too much mana too quickly. A minor case wouldn't be much worse than a hangover, but Paula's so overloaded she's lucky to be alive. She's a total pain in the ass, but Paula doesn't need to die over all this. Can we do anything? Senna, we're draining some of her mana work. I know a spell for that. Yes, that would do the trick. Come here, I'll guide you through it. Mana drain, mana drain, mana drain, mana drain. Magic missile. Yeah, where am I? Don't try any funny business. Oh great, I'm in hell. Oh! Hey! Hey! Oh! Welcome on by Dolly, Paige, Luke, oh shit. Welcome to the ziggurat. Not old Max, thank you. Thank you for the resubscription, Dolly. <laughs> hello, hello, everyone. Hey, people, I think we have, I think we have an otter outbreak. I think there's an otter outbreak coming in. Welcome, welcome on by. Um, now that y'all don't have to speak. Oh, thank you for the head pats. Uh, I'm definitely open. I am curious uh, who y'all ended up going with in in, in the finals because I was in, I was invested uh, personally. I tried to get Dahlia, um, and I failed when I was going through Monster Camp. Um, but I know y'all were doing so much talking, uh, so y'all really should take take a rest. You know, go leave a piss, go take some more water or tea, and uh, you know, I'll still be around even if you step away. Dolly reject Dahlia rejected Dolly and em Oh no. Damn, Dolly is just so She's hard. She's a hard one to get. But uh, welcome on by. If y'all don't know me, I'm Drecky Warmer, a Draconic Serpent, a flightless dragon, or simply a worm on the internet. Um on Mondays I like to play comfy comfy games, nostalgic games, whatnot, because Mondays suck. Um so, I am playing Slar RPG, Super Lesbian Animal RPG. Um, we are in... I don't know how long it is, but we're in Act 3. Um, we've learned the Goddess of Magic has returned, and she's mad. And she is trying... She's wanting to take all of magic back that she gave to us. And so, normal RPG, RPG systems, we are training up to fight God and kill them question mark uh send them out of our dimension again question mark um we just got through a team building exercise of collecting berries because our main pair um this fox melody and the wabbit allison um they got into they got into a bit of a fight in their relationship um so they could not do any more smooches which is one of my favorite things about this game is that the save file has a counter of how many smooches um, the girl, you, you, you've had in relationships, which is, if you didn't realize this game is very cute, um, that should tip you off. It is a very adorable game. Um, we literally just got done with a boss fight, um, and Paula, Paula, I'm suspecting there's going to be something more with Paula, because very sapphic, very poly. I don't know if there's a poly, but so. Um, our mage, she is trans femme, our main character Melody is trans femme, um, so we have female-female relationship, uh, female-female relationships, so, so yeah, they're all, they're all female-female relationships, <laughs> but there are, there's also trans too in here, um, it's, it's just, it's just, it will give you diabetes. It is so sweet. It is so saccharine. The humor is amazing. Um, the just like, if you showed me this screenshot, 
I would not be able to tell you it was an RPG Maker game. Um, the only way I can tell is like it has a little RPG Maker logo in the application. Because it, like I'm not used to this level of custom sprites, um, custom textures and things like that from just an RPG Maker game. Um, it's great. But, um, what was I? Alright, so Paula, so I wonder, like, they, they've kind of been a, a bully or antagonist towards our, um, relationship person. Um, I'm suspect, they, they defected to the invading, uh, goddess of magic who broke back into our reality. I'm suspecting there's gonna be more to Paula's story as to why they've been so, they don't like Allison. I don't know if it's going to go, like, <clears throat> full Cobra Kai, if you've ever seen that. Um, very cute, you gotta look at Oh, no problem, goes Paul. I mean, y'all's time is valuable, so I appreciate any amount y'all feel like spending with me. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, apologies for... Uh, I am I'm, I'm trying to throw voices, but I am not as professional as any of y'all. <laughs> Especially when it becomes when it comes to uh, female voices, so <laughs> best effort <laughs> you're far <forward> learned. <laughs> oh, one downside for the game to having so many fe females and not many males. <laughs> oh great, I'm in hell. You're welcome for saving your life just now. Wait, something's missing. Where's my magic? What'd you do to me? You're recovering from a life-threatening case of mana poisoning. Your lucky Melody was here to help me in drain your excess mana. Ugh, gross. Don't assume that I owe you or anything. I'd rather kick the bucket than get help from a magic thief like you. Magic thief? Yeah, that's right. I know your little secret about how you got your powers. I've known this whole time. Overheard you two babbling about it. On the hiking trail a few days ago. And boy, did it piss me off. Hi, Rudran. Yeah, welcome on by. Paula, why are you like this? Why do you care so much about how Melody and Allison got their magic? How does that affect you? Don't just say you wouldn't understand. I've always hated magic users like you. You're everything was wrong with this world. Growing up, I was told I had a gift. I was strong. I was smart. I could achieve anything I set my mind to. I was destined for greatness. But natural talent doesn't mean squat when the world's full of weaklings and lowlifes using magic to get whatever they want. Oh! Oh, so that's why they have a chip on their shoulder. Cool. Great. Oh, a new campaign? Nice. Come on back, I'm certainly interested in what system or the general phones. So I know I've played a lot of different things. You get all the glory, while honest, hard-working folk like me are stuck with dead-end jobs. Honest, blue-collar workers like me, all them, them filthy magic users controlling the government, stealing all our jobs with their high-faulting technology and mana spells. Back in my day, when you lost an arm, you rubbed dirt in it, and you were happy. When her Galetta was cheating her way out of that life, while I was still stuck on the bottom rung of society, I had every right to be furious. You know, Paula, I actually considered inviting you to our guild. You're a good fighter. We could use someone with your skills. As if I'd accept a handout from losers like you. I gotta pull myself up by my bootstraps. But see, there's the problem. Your personality. You sure seem fine with taking handouts when it's from Javis and Verena. That's different. Javis told me Verena wanted to take your magic back. And that with my strength, I can make it happen. They recognized me for my natural talent and rewarded me for it. I don't like having to use magic for this job, but it's for the greater good. The natural order will be set right when magic's gone. You know what? I actually kind of understand where you're coming from, Paula. Don't patronize me. Oh, I mean it. I think I finally get you. You know what it's like to be feel like you're going nowhere in life? To be stuck working yourself to death at a dead-end job for a boss who doesn't respect you and refuses to pay you more than he's legally obligated to. 
yeah, yeah, it's definitely that's all that happens in a game. And it's not what happens in real life at all. I feel like there's so much out there in the world, and, and you'll never get to experience any of it because your fate was decided at birth. It sucks. Nobody deserves that. That's why I'm doing my damnedest to get myself out of that life any way I can with the support of my friends. But you don't exact actually care about that struggle. You don't think that nobody should be treated like that. You just think that the world owes you in particular. You want to live in some fairy tale meritocracy land where you're handed the world on a silver platter for your talent while riffraff like me stay at the bottom. Well guess what? That ain't happening. I don't care if you think my magic makes me a cheater. Life doesn't need to be a competition, and I'm not weak for relying on others. I'm not going to stop fighting for the better life for myself, and for Melody, and for all of us. If you have a problem with that, that's on you, Paula. Well, you rehearsed that one ahead of time, Goletta? Very moving. Still hate you, but you know, A for effort. Well, it's been fun, but I have better places to be. Wait, you can just teleport out the whole time? I guess she really just wanted to have a little bit of shit talking. <laughs> we should have checked her pockets before we woke her up. Nah, let her run. I'm not afraid of her. I imagine the third time we run into her, she's basically going to be insane from magic overdose. That was a pretty impressive little speech you gave back there. Uh, thanks? Paula just really got under my skin. Did you mean all that? I did. I meant every word. I don't care what they think of me. I'm just not going to sit around and let those jerks hurt the people I care about. Especially not you. Hey, wait. Does this mean we're talking again? I'm still... frustrated. Not specifically with you. With... Everything, including myself. You have every right to be frustrated at me, though. I'm sorry for saying what I said back on the beach. No, I'm sorry for freaking out at you, for being honest about your concerns. That wasn't right of me. This week has just been a lot. I don't know. I don't think I can really articulate my feelings very well at times like this. But I do think I'm seeing things a little clearer now. After talking to Claire and hearing what you had to say just now. And giving my girlfriend the cold shoulder probably isn't doing any good right now. Let's just work out the rest later, okay? Okay. If you still need some emotional space, I understand. When you feel like talking about it, I'm all ears. Thank you, Allison. I mean it, literally, because I'm a... Oh, come here, you big dummy. Aww. I love you, Allison. I love you too, Melody. Now, we've got a mission to focus on. I'm right there with you, Mel. We still don't have a game plan. Yeah, I'll help that. Claire and I actually have an idea we'd like to propose. Elsewhere. Fine. Ooh. Falling through what? You want to share Stardust? It's usually Stardust. What is it with the multiverse and Stardust anyway? Why is there so much of it? I never thought you'd be so sick of seeing the wonders of space in person. For a moment you miss home. But you know that there's no use looking back. You have to keep pushing forward. You get your bearings and study your body. Wherever you brought yourself, this one seems to be another dud. With a few hand gestures, you're suddenly somewhere else. Anywhere else. You zip to a few other planes, finding no signs of life. At this point, you'd be happy to see so any solid ground at all. Anything but stardust and darkness. You'd even take an asteroid. Begin to fantasize for a moment about terraforming an asteroid and making yourself a cute little home on it. It'd be lonely, but anything would be better than this. But as you're about to lose your last shred of hope, you zip to a new location and see the sun for the first time in what feels like ages. You're on an island. The sounds of the sea and cool breeze on your face remind you of simpler times and soothe your nerves. You collapse with a contented sigh and relax for a moment, sprawled out on the grass. You instinctively breathe in the fresh air, even though your, bo your body no longer needs to breathe. Much of the island appears to be covered in forest, 
with several mauve mountains towering in the distance. The sky and the sea are deep blue, a fluffy clouds a bright white. Higher in the sky, you faintly see that the planet you're on has two moons, one larger than the other. Yes, this one will do. Not wanting to be an intruder, you wonder if there are any locals you can introduce yourself to. Perhaps someone to tell you more about this unfamiliar world. After blinking around the island for a bit, you eventually come upon a large, scaly creature, the likes of which you've never seen in real life. The creature is startled by your sudden appearance, and drops an armful of firewood on the ground. Oh, I'm so sorry, you say. I didn't mean to scare you. It occurs to you, for a moment, that you probably should be the one who's more startled in this situation. In an effort to be nice, you don't point this out. I'm a bit lost and wanted to ask you a few questions. Is that okay? Sh sure, I suppose. The creature replies timidly. For starters, can you tell me what planet I'm on? You're kidding, right? You maintain a straight face. Wow, you really aren't kidding. What's your story? Are you an alien or something? Something like that. Wow, I've never met an alien before. Well, uh, we call this planet Reverie. You ponder this for a moment. Hmm, Reverie, huh? That's a new one. Has a nice ring to it, though. What's your name? The scaly creature asks. My name's Zinna. Nice to meet you, Zinna. I'm... Verena. Hey, Verena? You in there, lady? Hey, there you are. Sorry, I must have dozed off. Never figured a goddess would need so much sleep. Well, my body was specifically modified to handle more magic than you can fathom. It can be tiring. Plus, when you're 1,334 years old, you start to realize how few things are worth being awake for. What happened to you? I'd rather not talk about it. Don't make this difficult, Falda. Go let it kick my ass, okay? And then her girlfriend took away the magic you gave me. Goletta? Allison Goletta. The rabbit? Ah, uh, yes. She's that strong, huh? I suppose this is going to be interesting after all. It's just a fluke. I relied too heavily on your magic. Burnt myself out. There's no way Galetta's stronger than me. I'm confused, though. You lost to the enemy, and yet now you're here? They didn't capture you? Hold you prisoner? Torture you for information? Anything like that? Nah, they're too chicken. They actually healed me and let me get away. Can you believe that? How strange. Look, I know this wasn't part of the plan, but if you can give me another shot, I know I can beat her. That won't be necessary. Besides, I've already powered you up once against my better judgment, and it looks like your body disliked that. Which, I'm guessing, is why they drained your mana, correct? Doing it again so soon could kill you. This won't, like, affect my standing in the New World Order or whatever, will it? Oh my god, relax. It's fine. You've done your part. Now just go get some rest before the big show. I'm sure you won't miss you won't want to miss a thing. Now, where's Javis? Still building the actual palace. I think I'll go check on him. Oh, we're actually controlling God now. Interesting. Oh, that's her hair. Ooh. I like that gradient. That that blue to purples. I've certainly been a real big fan of, of blues and purples when I've been messing around in uh, oil painting on uh, with Rebel. Not only is it like synth wavy, but I feel like you know the the shades between blue and purple just are really fun to play with. It's quite impressive, but do I always look this tired? My queen, my queen, look! I just put the finishing touches on the statue of you! Oh my, how marvelous! You've really captured my likeness, dear. It's like I'm looking in a mirror. Thank you so much, my queen. The locals were very disparaging of my art, so your words of encouragement mean a lot to me. Do you really love it that much? I think I'll start on a second one right away. If you'd like, but don't tire yourself out now. <laughs> Not so killer now, huh, Ray? This isn't fair, brother. I'm using the inferior third-party controller. 
Shitty called Dibs. Jarvis only made you a few weeks ago. How do you boys already have a patent on these things? Father created us to have be highly knowledgeable to aid in your conquering of rubbery. Uh huh. I'm sure all this will be really crucial for the mission. You never know. Shouldn't you boys be out on patrol? We are on break, my queen. Oh, okay, cool. Well, have fun. I really want to do like a Tim Gurry voice for the uh, the balloon person in homage to uh, Stratos from uh, Sacrifice, but uh, that is ambitious. What was the voice I was using for Jarvis? I think I was trying to aim for a sort of like that, that British kind of, I don't know. Ah, good morning, my queen. Or afternoon, I, I suppose. I apologize for your current accommodations being so rugged, but I'm pleased to report that progress on the palace continues smoothly. It's truly my most magnificent work to date. But please, no peeking just yet. These peace folk are strange, Jarvis. Did you hear that instead of letting her succumb to mana poisoning, they actually healed Paula, even after fighting her? Who? Paula, the polar bear? Our new recruit? Oh yes, that one. Am I going to have to get you one of those spinning children's toys that teach you the names of animals? I guarantee I would not retain that information, my queen. As for the beasts handling our recruit, probably some sort of trickery to lower our defenses. Or perhaps they wanted to send our disgraced commander back here as a show of power. Perhaps. They also took away the magic you so graciously gave her. It doesn't sound very benevolent to me. I'm still not so sure, Jabez. Our opposition just isn't what I expected based on past experiences. I would still not underestimate them, my queen. But rest assured, whatever they're scheming, they'll be no match for my forces. Jarvis, the point is to let me test their strength. Yes, well, I wouldn't want to waste your time with unworthy challengers. I'll be screening them for you. Well, thank you for the chat, Jarvis. I'll let you get back to work. I think some fresh air will do me good. Anyway, maybe I'll do a little sightseeing. See how my old haunts are doing. Oh, I'm not sure I would advise that, my queen. I'm worried your personal attachments to this place may make this painful. I know, but I think it's time to rip that bandage off. Oh well, this place wasn't here a thousand years ago. The technology certainly seems a lot more modern. But is that thanks to my magic, or just the passage of time? Seems as if a life has been completely sucked out of this land with magic, though. How dreadful. Wait, the elves here look different. Why are they... Oh my god, is my magic being used to raise the dead? This is too much. I need to go someplace else. Ah, my old gardens. Still as beautiful as ever. It seems like they've seen better days. But if the gardens are in ruins, then... Oh, come on, Verena. If you can't face this, then you're hopeless. Here goes nothing. Oh, uh, I don't think she's happy with this. This... This is it. My old magic school. It really was destroyed. Left in ruins since that day. This is where Zina... Where... I mean, of course this is the state it's in. Why did I allow myself to hope otherwise? God, why did I come back to this place? What the hell am I doing here? Stupid Verena, stupid! My queen! I was worried I would find you here. Oh, sorry you have to see me like this, Jarvis. I thought I'd buried this pain deep down centuries ago. That's all coming back to me like it was yesterday. No need to apologize. Permission to speak fearly, as a friend? Of course. You know you don't have to ask. You've always been a very giving person, Verena. You gave these people so much. Just as you've given me so much. You took me in, allowed me to become your second-in-command. 
but you've come a long way since that fateful day we found each other in the void. You've grown stronger in spite of it all. I admire you for that and you. Yeah. I worry, though, that returning here is making you regress. It's noble of you to want to give this planet a second chance, but these people have done nothing to deserve it. Look around you. Her kindness was wasted on this horrid world. Excuse me. You're... you're right, Jonas. I wanted to believe that maybe, just maybe, what I did had improved the world after all, in spite of everything. But it didn't. This world really did just use me and discard me, because I let my guard down. I was soft. I won't make that mistake a second time. Thank you for your words of encouragement, Jarvis. Now come along. We've got preparations to make for the final phase of the plan. Swing! So, now that we're all here and we've had time to clear our heads, what's this idea you had? Okay. This might sound crazy, but... What if we were the ones to face Verena? But instead of fighting her, we just tried talking to her. What? Think about it. Verena had Greenridge. Her side had already won, and she let us go. No casualties, no prisoners, nothing. What does she really want? It seemed like she just all she all they just did I know how to speak. It seems like they just did that to toy with us. This is all some big test, remember? That's what she said, but that doesn't sound like anything like the Verena that Zina told us about. You know she did have valid points back there about the damage people have done with magic. Sounds like she wants to clean up the environment and stuff. There's common ground there. Exactly. After everything we've learned, I don't think she's out to cause harm for harm's sake. Jonas and his goons have been a total menace, though, and they're taking orders from Verena. I know. Maybe I'm being naive, but I think Verena, who bettered all our lives with a single act of kindness, is still in there. Zina knows her better than any of us, and she said that something bad happened that would explain why she feels this way. Zina, are you sure you can't tell us more? Believe me, when I say it would only complicate things further, you're better off not knowing. Yeah, I feel like that's going to bite us in the ass all of a sudden. Regardless, sometimes people who have been hurt don't think they have a lot of options, and they need someone to reach out to them. If we do that, maybe she'll see there's no reason for us to be fighting in the first place. Zina, your take? I don't know what's happened to Verena since the incident. A lot can change in a thousand years, and I don't know why she's working with people like Jarvis and Paula, but I'd like to believe she's still the same Verena I knew. I support this plan. Still, I don't know if I can avoid a fight. There's a whole army standing between you and Verena. Well, if it's a fight they want, it's a fight they'll get. We aren't going to rush headfirst into their base space. We've got a few days. We'll keep training. We'll find the best gear we can. If we go in prepared, I think we stand the best chance of ending this. Jody? Maybe my word doesn't mean much to you at this point, but... I trust their judgment on this. I'm going to keep them safe. Well, sounds like you've got a plan then. Claire, as guardian of Greenridge, I give you my blessing. I won't let you down, Fade. I just hope this hunch you have about Verena is correct. Before you go, I've got less few gifts that I will help. You. I've got a few gifts for you that will help you with the task ahead. But first, for Melody. I've trained many spellcasters over the years, so believe me when I say I know a talented healer when I see one. However, it seems like you have a lot on your plate. One of my signature spells should help clear your mind a bit in battle. Dragon's Cure. Ooh. This spell consolidates your status restoring spells like Herbal Cure and Purify into one spell. Oh wow, thank you so much, Sina. I also want to give you this key. It will let you reach Verena on the tallest mountain on the island. The Dragon King! It opens some other specially marked doors where I stashed items in case of an emergency too. 
do find those all over. One door in particular guards something helpful for reaching new areas around the island. Seriously, I can't thank you enough for all your help here, Xena. Are you sure there isn't anything we can do to return the favor? Oh, I'm just doing my job, dear. Now, if you want to train then, I suggest you seek out more experience in the field. I'm sure there are people all over the Sapphire Island who could use your help at a time like this. If you want more training from me though, feel free to talk to me at any time. I've got a little extra credit assignment for you if you're interested. That's entirely up to you. But now, class dismiss. Is it really the final battle? Uh, I feel like I probably need to do some of these side quests first. But, let's do a save. I... I think Bar I think Verena was level 99. I actually didn't even check. Ah, oh, I should have opened inventory to see if I could check her equipment. Damn it, Drekki. You always make sure to remove equipment from temporary temporary NPCs. <laughs>